Shut up and sit down. Hello guys, this is TJ Dwarf and this is going to be a unit review of Dwarf Warriors, Dwarf Longbeards with both variants and Miners. And if you know it and stuff, I've only got Miners with Blast and Charges and I'll get into that. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get on to that right now actually. So, Miners with Blast and Charges. I'm going to quickly shut this window because it's freezing. Right, Miners with Blast and Charges. Uh, the reason I won't take Miners without blast and charges it's because they're shit basically the reason these guys are good is because they can lob blast and charges over the heads of uh, friendly units and that's what I use them for it's basically if I don't have the funding to buy iron breakers or long beards or hammerers I buy these guys simple as that I don't think I'll ever take miners, basic miners unless I, I Maybe one unit if I needed to get rid of some funds, but I'd rather just play around with the, uh, the funding a little bit and just get Dwarf Warriors or something, because they're just better. Yeah, they're just, they're just better. So anyway, uh, yeah, they're, they're armoured, all Dwarfs are armoured. they got armour piercing weapons, so they're alright against armoured opponents, but so the problem is armoured opponents tend to be quite good at fighting, so they usually get their heads smashed in. So yeah, it's all about the uh, grenades, blast and charges. Now on to Dwarf Warriors uh, with shields. These guys down here. Basic Dwarf unit, armoured and shield. They've got charge defence against large foes if they're standing still and bracing. Good armour, good leadership, speed of a Dwarf. Average attack and defence and weapon strength. Pretty poor charge bonus with these. Because they got shields, are more defensive. Now, Dwarf Warriors are great weapons. Armored. So they've got the same armor as their brethren. But they're not shielded. Same leadership. Bit better at immediate attack. Bit better melee defense. Same weapon strength, though. Uh, just armor piercing. And they get better charge. So, slightly upgraded Dwarf Warrior when it comes to offensiveness. Now long beards. Zoom. If I click on this unit. Not only do they look awesome, they are just better than Dwarf Warriors. Better leadership, better armor, the slower speed when run not by much, but then just better melee attack, better melee defense, better weapon strength and even have better charge bonus even though the ones with shields are a defensive unit. On top of that, their immune psychology, so fear and terror don't affect them and they encourage nearby units. I pretty much always take long beards over dwarf warriors if I got the funding. Right. And it's the same story with uh, long beards with great weapons. They got same stats, just a little bit better in attack and defense when it comes to melee. And they got armor piercing attacks so so yeah so so far for ranking wise uh miners are blasting charges i would say dwarf warriors and dwarf warriors great weapons are on par with each other and then long beards because they're better stats so it's these guys are superior when it comes to defense these guys are superior when it comes to offense so let's get ahead into the battle Play as a pl dwarf plays. Hopefully, it'll come to me. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, playing against Empire. I'll let them crash upon my shields. Putting a kink in there is good. Ancestors. 
they're still hidden. In fact, both of those units are still hidden. So yeah, now it's just a waiting game for the Empire to come across, so I'll just speed this up. And here come the Empire of all their swordsmen, great swordsmen and spears. In fact, let's have a little gander down here first. So the blast and charges will be be thrown in a minute. So begins the uh So as you can see here the dwarfs are good at holding the line. These guys are just hidden. <laughs> so great swords going to work on um, dwarf warriors, I believe it was over there. So yeah, that was the deal with Dwarf Warriors. Miners. Get the miners involved now. Uh, I'll even get the miners involved here. So yeah, as you can see, Dwarfs do really well when it comes to defense. In fact, I'm not even going to engage in that. So yeah, there you go. The dwarf warriors are broke there. These guys are still holding slightly. Keep morale up high. Keep morale up high. Get these guys involved down here. They'll carry on fleeing. Keep on peeling around. Great swords are still going to work. Oh my lord is being pounded here. I might have to actually pull my lord out of that. Ah, oh, he's got two guys against him, that's why. Actually, bring you down here. Why haven't you sorted out that one unit yet? This guy around here. Oh. 
You need to get in there. So the warrior priest is uh, down. Just a matter of taking out this empire lord. And there you go, there goes the mass route. And there goes our general. Any more? No, that's it. So it'll be interesting to see. Well, I can already see here. Well, maybe they got a bad matchup, but as you can see from just looking at the health of the units, the Longbeards are a lot more healthy than the Warriors. So I'll end the battle, we'll have a look at the kills per unit. So yeah, let's have a look here. So Dwarf Miners, I'd attribute most of their kills to the explosives, to be frank. Dwarf Warriors, look, 11, that's piss poor. Maybe they were the ones fighting the Grave, uh, not Grave Guard, Great Weapons. But yeah, 63, uh, 70, 79. Well, their, high, their highest kills are on par like the lowest kills for the Longbeards. And on top of that, the Longbeards actually have troops left. So that's the reason why I treat Longbeards over uh, with shields, over Dwarf Warriors with shields. Now, the Great Weapons are a different story. They are quite similar. But this guy went ham. So I'd call him a not an anomaly. But yeah, they're quite similar. They're not frontline troops. They're to be used like I used them, which is uh, for flanks. But as you can see, yeah, defensively, long beards. Ooh, can't fuck around with a long beard. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a basic overview of the basic troops. Um, the next one should be on hammerers. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.